Right, morning, morning, morning. Um, seven o'clock in the morning. Um, I come into Hollyhead, which wasn't my plan. I'm like basically um, a day ahead now. Friday morning. I was supposed to be here tonight. I was supposed to stop at South Stack Lighthouse and. Um, Well, everything was just like running smoothly, and I was ahead of myself. Um, basically, I like the island, it's a lovely island, but you can do everything within minutes, hours, like an hour, doing an hour here, and now in there. As you just saw, I, was, um, I went to the Anglesey Circuit. Um, I did, I went from there and I went all the coastal, all the way up the coastal, I stopped at the coastal, um, it's fog, if you wonder what I'm looking at, it's foggy, and I'm hoping that's starting to brighten up over there, because uh, I see a bit of sky over there, but I doubt it. it's just a little fog over, sorry, and um, I did the the circles, and I did um, the lighthouse. So by all this time, I've done all this, not heavy and not rushing. You may Rob will be um, pleased with us. I was only doing forty-five mile an hour all the way around, pulling over, let people around, but it's that small you can get round so quick. So my plans today. Um, I don't know where I'm stopping tonight, I don't know, but like I say, I'm ahead, I've took my time, so now I'm heading to a country park, um, uh, just before you get off this, uh, Holy Island, this is part one I'm on now, is Holy Island. Holy Head's the main place for when you go to Ireland, half years and all that. So. Well, that was wishful thinking, the fog's still here. Right, I'm going to move on. I'm going to try and uh, find somewhere to park up next to a cafe, get some breakfast. And then see what's all after that. So, catch us later at the country park. We am at the coastal park. Alright, foggy. It's, sun's trying to burn through there, as you can see. See, it's got a burn through today. Um, so, I'm going forward to today. Let's see that. Blue sky. Oh, look, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Look at that. Yeah. So, this park, picnic area, goes and bounds. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's see what this is. It's in Welsh, so I don't understand it. Memorial thing. Um, oh, it's in memory of a guardsman, David Richard Williams, Welsh guards. Um, killed in action. Killed in action at Bluff Cove, Falkland Islands. He was only 20 year old, one time young warden at this reserve. Well, so he's a warden and uh, he was killed in action in the Falkland Islands. I'm going to put this up for him, put that up for him in memory. It's really good. 
Really good, really good. Eric, I want to turn the camera around for you and let us have a look. Well, that's a uh, memorial for him. That's good, that. Right, we'll carry on in this park. Right, right on the coast. Big crow there. Clear up, clear up. <laughs> well, I can't go any further. Close that one off, so I'll have to go around this way. Um, I know they're doing a bit more, so a bit more around the park. Bring it back and I'll see something else. Because the red squirrels around here. Right. Red squirrels side. A bit early for them. Come out. Bird nest, I think there. Good dot. Zoom in first. So it's soon get them out. Little holes in the trees for them. Boxes. Woodpecker. See? Woodpecker up there. Come across a pet graveyard. So all these little graves, stones, for pets. Every time I go for my camera, I'm missing them. There you are, see him. See him. There he is, look. Top there, bird box. Oh, he's gone in, he's gone in, look. Well, morning. I'm in church beer now. So, where did I start off? I'll show you on the map where I started. This is where I was parked up last night. And then I went up to the country 
place uh, which is just there yeah there's a country place there and then I've traveled up to Church Beer where the parking meter is broken um, let's put a pound in and it says uh, go be off by nine which is a pile of rubbish so I'll be complaining um, then my next destination is up to these beers here I'll pull out and I'll be straight back up to these places up here just work my way along um, hopefully I should end up here tonight around this area um, or somewhere along this area tonight that's where I'll be parking for the night I hope um, and that'll be my last stop on the island so far it's been really good really good so right let's go and there's the beer over there I know it's foggy in normal weather and it's having a house there looking over that <gasps> lovely there's the house look at that It's a shame it's uh, foggy, isn't it? Well, let's have a walk down to the beer and see what's laid like down there. The beer. Wow. That's a fantastic this, isn't it? The sea must come right up here. Oh, well, I say it comes right up here because it's all flat. So basically walk all the way down to the sea. You're straight on here. See there's some fallen rocks so we've got to watch what we're doing. Well none of them fuckers drop on me. With all these rocks are starting to drop off. Um when I was at the lighthouse yesterday the guy was telling us um Part of the uh, rock face where there's a lot of history gone due to the storm, the storm Brian last year. Um, so it's quite a bit of damage around the lighthouse, base of the lighthouse. Uh, and that's what's happening around our coast. You can see where the where it's come down here. So, well. That's that place visited. Oh, the sun's shining now, the fog's gone. And with the. Uh, um, where am I at? Uh, where am I at? Where am I at? I'm in a car park. <laughs> Kem. Kemlin. Semlin. Sorry, Semlin or Kemlin. Oh, look at that. Look. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, some old ruins over there. Have a look. Um, do do do. I'm down here. Where am I at? I'm up here. Yeah, that's where I'm at. So there's some old ruins up there. Hold on, turn the camera around. Be loads. Right. There's some old ruins over there. An you know, old castle or something. And that's where I am now. So I'm going to walk up to there and see if I can see them. There's somewhere around here. So I've got a old deer. Let's go. Go get them. How beautiful is that? How stunning is that? It's so awesome. Absolutely awesome. Car over there. Just so stunning. 
beautiful. Oh, oh, some guests, little cows. We've got cows all over the place here. You know, I'm watching what I'm doing because they're flighty. I need to get back to that gate. Wow, well, we're just so found this in little a gem just by accident. Beautiful. Right, where have I landed? This is where I wanted to be. The history. All this little stuff. So, let's get up here and show you. And this is it. That's where I am. So I am right there. No, I was there. I'm there now. Sorry. <laughs> I'm That's where I am. Right there. Beautiful. I will make it. I will make it down to here by tonight. It's only 10 o'clock. Everywhere is within about 10, 15 minutes walk. Um, we'll drive. Everything down here now, 10 to 15, so I should make it about, about 3, 4 o'clock tonight. But I doubt it. Beautiful. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Isn't it? Breakfast. Let's find somewhere for breakfast. Look at that beacon, man. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. What you would do, they live here. Little hidden gems. Don't feed the seagulls. You got fine, I think, yeah. Mm, yeah, in the interest. Yeah. That's stunning. Imagine having this in your backyard like what they do. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Car parks over there. You've got that. That's your house. You've got them balconies over there. See if I can zoom in. Got them balconies there, right? And your house. Looking out there. Looking over your beer. Look at that. Oh, you've got little places where you can get sheltered. Wow. Absolutely stunning. Wow. What a hidden gem. So when I go back out, I think I'll drive along the top. There. Wow. This is going to be some adventure video of this for you guys to watch. Right. I need to get some breakfast. I need to go get some breakfast. But oh. Look at this. And the sun's shining. It's even better when the sun's shining. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, another. This is bull beer. This one. What a lovely little place. Just small little places like this. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Sit on there and look out. What more could you ask for? Beautiful. Imagine launching a boat off here. Oh. Yep, very nice. The car was on the way up along this road and uh, parked up. And I've seen this uh, monument. Uh, so, to I decide stop the car. It. And uh, have a look, see what it's all about. It's in a walled um, area. Yeah, nearly broke my ankle. But the steps, I love how to do these. Ooh. Oh, find out what 
it's all about. Whew. Here we are. Wow. Right, I'm gonna have a look and read. Dry head. Wow, look at the views. Wow. Beautiful. What a stunning deer. Look at that. It's in bloody Welsh. Well, it does wheels on it. Right in memory of the brothers Morris. Of blah 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 right for of the uh, I don't know whatever that is if you can read it must have a battle <laughs> oh, beautiful beautiful absolutely stunning what a stunning deer right let's crack on Beautiful. Now I'm just going to leave it with that. Don't know if you can see that little pheasant there. Female pheasant. And we're from, where's he out there? The big lad. He's going to get chagged. Going to get chagged. He's after her. She doesn't want it, but he does. He's desperate. Look at him. Shouting, I'll get you. I'll get you. And when I do, I'll stick it. Right up! <laughs> right, I have to go. Walk through history. That's where we're parked. Um, there's three places to walk. Go to number one, which is Chapel, Wingley Chapel. And then you can walk all the way up to Ding or Bingley, I don't know how to pronounce it. And we'll come back to the car park and then we'll be walking. There, probably drive up there. There's the story there. And actually, get the um, follow the story on uh, Android or iOS. So, we'll take the walk. Here's the chap. See, we'll go. I think we'll go in this way. What a beautiful setting, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to go through the proper way. Oh, come down here. This is where the gate was. It's a gateway in. It's open. That's, so this is an old church, old chapel. Get in as well. Mm. Yes. Look at the chapel. As you can see, this is tiny early 12th century church, was a chapel of ease for widespread community whose parish church was too distant for some parishes. There was no uh, separation between the nave and the ch ch chancel, and the walls were rendered uh, and whitewashed. Uh, the bell cut and the upper parts 
of the walls show some rebuilding in the 14th century and a small chapel extension was added in the 16th century uh, with a burial vault beneath it. The churchyard cross base behind you was moved inside for protection. There it is. Beautiful. Inside, wow. imagine coming in here. Wow, look at that! Wow, it's pretty dark, mind, compared to um, what it looks like on camera. Camera lights it up, but the uh, bodies were buried in here. Ooh. Yeah, and the decos. Look at that, it's amazing. Right. Now we're going to the village. But wow, it's amazing. Look at that. Yes. Windows. There used to be windows in there, but they've got them out. Wow. That would have been up there. Wow, it's amazing. Imagine you want a christening. Let's see if I've got a penny. Stick a penny in. Yeah. And stick a penny in. There you are. There's a penny in. Wishes made. What a stunning little bit of history. This impression of the sound of a workshop. This used to be a workshop here. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. This is awesome. I've seen this on um, Google Maps. I thought I'm going there. I'm going to have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, there we are. Changing times. Didn't look yeah. right, that's where we are, that's how we're looking at it. Yeah. Looking at the remains of a small farmstead accompanied by local British farmers during the Rotman occupation. Fangosy. I'm out of breath, sorry. Um excavation at sites like this tell us about the lives and local people during the Roman occupation. They continue to live in traditional roundhouses to build Roman style rectangular buildings, uh, stories and stores and workshops. Remains of the heath of the ironwork and suggest that the people who lived here were craftsmen, while finds of Roman pottery and kind suggest they were trading with the invaders. Fawnstead is surrounded by a small wall. Um, the word din means defensive enclosure, but it's doubtful whether it could have withstood a uh, concentrated attack. Uh, although the site is sheltered by today by trees, this would have been a panoramic view. Panoramic views across the bay. Again, you can follow the story, uh, download, follow the story on iOS and Android. Right, let's have a look around. Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. Some old houses there. Imagine like doing some workshops and that. Yeah. Thank you. 
todo el día. Yo era mi historia. down here as well. I'm not crossing over the wall because I think it's disrespectful. I know people do do that. But it's well cut because the grass is cut. Cut the grass around here. So I want to jump this wall. So there's be like little stores. There'll be a storeroom as well unless I was a living. I think that was a storeroom. So that must be living areas over there. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. How these the how these stones are still here now. There's it's really kept nice on it. There's no long grass or anything like that. Hello, anybody in? Come in. This must be a storeroom. Yeah. See how thick the walls are. Gee. Well, we'll go down here. We'll have a walk down into this house over here. See if they're going to make us a cuppa or give us a nice beer. Nice beer would be nice. Or not? Really ancient beer. Oh, you seen? Seen how thick these walls were. Must have been to have like the for the the stacks, you know, like the thatch. There's a big wall which couldn't withstand the invasion. But look, look at the holes. See the holes where they must have had poles in. There. Wow. Yeah. So all these trees wouldn't have been here years ago thousands of years ago, hundreds of years ago and you were able to see, as you can see, the beer wow, absolutely brilliant Look, see it's uh, must have been done yesterday this because grass is still pretty fresh but amazing, gorgeous I wonder if this was a living, no it was a workhouse one at this one we just said that this was a work and building you know, like uh, when you're walking up to it, it's like, uh, um, like, I don't know. Oh, beautiful. I'm so glad that I found this on uh, Google Maps. I'll take some pictures I'm recording. Picture of that. Fancy having that in your backyard, eh? Oh, lovely. Right, we'll go and okay. see the third one now. Now I see why you had to walk to because there's no parking. You understand what that says? Translator. It's in Welsh. Ah, there it is. It will be up there. There's English. Let's go have a look at it. Yeah. Wow. So this is a monument of oh yeah. If you look you must get into it. I don't know if you're allowed in or not. If you can get in. You got some pictures and in, pictures inside. Let's have a look. Oh so this is a mound, right? All right, this is a mound, and it's so weather beaten now. I cannot, blah blah blah, blah chamber around 5,000 years ago at the end of see how bad that is. Again, if you want to follow the story, go in, download, follow the story. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try. Oh, this uh, content. The bones of 30, 
women and men. A massive limestone. How bad's that? Yeah. Again, really good. It's locked here, oh, I can't get in. And uh, respect, I'm not going in there. But that is the third part. Some stones here. So all this round here must be in whatever. Um, I don't know what that is in the distance there. Really interesting. We'll get some photos.